Do you remember playing with HO scale trains as a kid? Maybe you used Z, O, or G scale trains. If my memory serves me right, one thing all those train sets had in common was one major thing that helped a lot as an uncoordinated kid, and that was rerails. They were these tracks that you could use to easily put the train back on the tracks, and usually you could do it with just one hand. Well, a couple months ago, I stumbled across this design, and at that moment, I connected the dots. LEGO has not yet produced any sort of inline LEGO re-railer for the train sets. Thus, I set out to create my very own design. Originally, I started by trying to make an end-of-line re-railer. To be fair, at the time I had no idea that LEGO had produced their own. And went through a few different iterations before landing on this short design. This short version of my re-railer is compatible with almost all LEGO trains, except for those with very long and low fronts, such as the Merzak locomotive and the Horizon Express. Therefore, I created a longer re-railer to accommodate these locomotives. Now, once those were out of the way, I felt confident enough that I could create a more complicated inline re-railer that would work just like the old re-railers I used to use as a kid. Getting the design right took more iterations than expected, but I finally had my perfect design. This baby is capable of re-railing any and all rail cars in my possession, whether they be the smaller two-axle design or the larger four-axle designs. It can even re-rail the Emerald Knights main driving wheels all on its own. What blew me away was how most of this actually became really easy to put the rolling stock on the tracks, as all I had to do was one-handedly roll them over the track. As a kid, I often found re-railers to be very ugly and out of place in every model train set. They were installed in. I don't want my design to be the butt of your layout. I want it to be the centerpiece that you can use to adorn it. I made my design to be as elegant as possible while still remaining minimalistic. The first print of the final design was even made in gold to exemplify the style of luxury for any set that it's placed in. If you would like to make this design for yourself, you can go ahead and visit the links below to purchase a copy of the 3MF or STL files of your choice. Alternatively, you could also purchase the re-railer from my Etsy page. As a college student that's struggling to make ends meet, I would really appreciate any and all love for my struggle. However, I understand times are tough, my wallet's empty, so if you're looking to bypass my whole design and use something that's completely free, there's this really neat design from Lev on printables as well. It's really cool, and honestly, it meshes really well with, this, with LEGO's design language, much better than mine. But, if you want to help your boy out, I would really appreciate it. Thanks for listening. I hope you love it. Bye now.